All right, before we get into today's video about how the right arm releases during the downswing, super important topic, and I'm gonna show you how to use this within it. Today's the last day for the 4th of July sale for the Precision Impact Training Aid. You get the $35 off, but most importantly, you get a full year, 365 days to test drive it, and that's not gonna be the case after today. Okay, so if you wanna try this, absolutely risk-free, and why would you not, right? You have a full year, full year to test drive this and try it out. Lots of season left, lots of gains still to be had. I highly, highly, highly recommend this for you. I've used this with many players and my own swing very successfully. I know that it's gonna really work well for you as well. We're gonna put that link uh, down in the description down below, but don't forget today's the last day to get that guarantee. I hope you'll take advantage. All right, so I've been waiting probably literally 10 years to find a right wrist training aid that I would fall in love with. If some of you know the old uh, Greg Norman, The Secret, uh, no free pomo, but maybe we'll put a little picture of that on here. It's a, it's a right wrist training aid that you were able to bend back um, but it had you starting in a bent back position and it also didn't allow you to go up and down. I remember the first time I used that, uh, it was probably about 10 years ago. It was in my early 20s. And I remember, man, the compression that I got, the handle being forward was like the, the first time I've ever had that. I was always a good player, but I'd be a little thin, a little fat. I never really compressed the ball. And that Norman training aid was really good at just because it kept you in that position that you couldn't go up and down. Now, 10 years later, I have this precision impact training aid that I'm gonna show you. We're gonna do a couple of videos on that I have been testing now for the past couple of months to make sure I like it uh, for myself and in lessons. And it enables you to create the right wrist bend during the backswing, but then it locks your wrist in. And I'll show you the benefits of that during the downswing. And also, because of this little ball here, I can go up and down when I do it. It's absolutely freaking brilliant. And I've been using this a lot. It's gonna help your impact a ton. So, the thing that I mentioned before, every good ball striker I've ever worked with, uh, can do versus the higher handicaps is hit a piercing low three-quarter punch iron shot on command. Think of that shot where you have to hit, you know, maybe underneath a tree or lower the height by about half, but still have the ball carry very far. Now, in order to do that with an iron, you need to be able to get yourself into an impact position where the hands are quite a bit forward, right? And you've got quite a bit of shaft lean. And being able to do that is gonna be what enables you to compress the ball and get that ball popping off the club face and be more consistent. Whereas the higher handicaps aren't able to do that. And there's a slew of reasons why, but I've found by adding this on and training it, and I'm gonna want you to get one of these and try yourself, that you can actually reverse engineer and fix a lot of the issues earlier on. So um, this, this precision impact piece, how it sees, and we'll throw, you know, show some B-roll, and we're gonna put a link in the description down below. You put this on your right wrist, and you'll notice when I make a backswing, it gives me some auditory feedback, and I can set my right wrist about as far back as I can, and it locks that angle in. Now, not unlike the Greg Norman, which I didn't like, I can go down or up. Look at that. Unbelievable design. I don't know how you thought of that, but very, very smart. So this little ball in here, because at impact, my right wrist should go down some, but it doesn't go forward. That's what enables me this impact position, right? So I kind of bent that back too far, but I'm bending this back essentially fully max and then keeping it bent back. So if you're looking to be able to hit that punch three quarter shot that I just got done saying every good player has, this is how I would start to train this. And we'll walk through some of these pieces here when we go together. The power of keeping the right wrist bent back, okay, is the key. So when I set up, this is gonna be just flat on my wrist. I'm gonna gradually bend this back during my backswing. Now I'm gonna start with just half swings, which is what I want you to do when you're practicing this. So when I go back, I'm gonna bend it back to about left arm parallel, not max bent back, but about 75% of the way. I'm then gonna to continue to bend it back in transition until I read about, uh, reach about maximum bent back. And then for practice purposes, I'm gonna keep it bent back into my follow through. Now I want you to listen to me for a second. I am fully aware that in reality, the club and the wrist throws, okay? I understand that. But what I'm saying is in all these lessons, I see like a thousand golf swings a month, right? Of those thousand, maybe one or two have too much shaft length. Now we're working with a lot of players that could go to golf.com that shoot between, ah, say 75 and 100 to 110. So I'm not working with pros very much right at this point. I'm not working with guys that are shooting under par as much. I'm working with players like you and me who want to get better, right? And so very, very rarely is the shaft too far forward. And so because you're going to throw your wrist too early, most all players that I work with throw too early. So you have to feel as though you never throw just to get to normal. 
you're gonna throw, it just needs to happen later, okay? That's a key point. Just skip some of the, uh, the comments down there with that. So what I train in, and this works, the proof always be on the pudding, right? It should work. Bend it back about three quarters of the way by left arm parallel, bend it back to 100% in transition, and keep that bent back into the follow through. Now I want you to train this when you get this with an eight iron from left arm parallel to right arm parallel. And here's how we're gonna do this. I'm gonna take my setup, I want you to go back to left arm parallel, bend that back about 75% of the way. So as my right wrist bends back, notice that flattens my left wrist. If my right wrist was not bent back, now my left wrist is gonna be cupped. So those two pieces will go together, bend the right wrist back, flatten the left wrist. Now I'm about 75% of the way, I'm gonna click it even more in transition. Now I'm 100% bent back. That does two things from down the line, it keeps the club head inside my hands which is gonna be a path from inside. And from face on, it's gonna give me the shaft lean. I wanna get the butt of the club pretty darn close to the ball when the shaft's still parallel to the ground. Now I'm gonna transport that feel in through impact and feel like I never throw it. It's an exaggeration, okay? So I would do that once or twice. That's one practice swing, back to left arm parallel, a little bit more in transition, keep that bent back. And I'm gonna hit these punch shots. You know, these eight irons, I'm gonna hit what, 100? Yeah, maybe 100 to 120 yards. So it's gonna be like little half swing shots. So I've got this set up normal, bend it back, keep it bent back. And that is, now I hit it farther than I wanted to, but with that swing, I mean, I probably hit that, I probably hit that like 140, but that is absolutely as solid as I could hit a golf ball. The compression that you're looking for resides within your ability to control your trail wrist during the downswing. Eric, how do I do it? You go down below, you click the little link down there for Precision Pro and you grab one of these. I'm telling you, you're gonna love it. There's a little coupon code in there, you get $35 off. This is the piece, okay, this is the piece, the missing link for a lot of you guys that I'm working with to get the handle forward and compress your iron. So same thing, two rehearsals, bend it back to 75%, bend it back to 100 in transition, keep that all the way bent back. And if you're used to throwing, with this thing, which I literally can't because with it on, but let's imagine your wrist throws too early, like a lot of, a lot of the swings that I see here, by the time that the butt of the club's even with the right thigh, the, the club and the arm are in one line. The right wrist is fully flat. I've probably seen this 60 times this week. Okay, so this happened a lot. And we want to get into here. Now watch this, for me to get there, watch the click. Well, you don't watch the click, do you? You listen to the click, listen to the click. See how that bends back to put me in perfect position? And then I maintain that on my way through. You wanna learn how to get your body moving a little bit better, get the pivot pieces? Hello, this is how you do it. So two practice swings, set this back up to normal. Now I'm gonna go back, same feels. Set at 75%, more in transition, and then keep it. I mean, that is absolutely as solid as I can hit a shot. So I'm going left arm parallel, right arm parallel. You know, I'm probably hitting like, a, I don't know, 140 or something like that, but you're just going little half swings. Now, this little piece, when I bend it back, so I'm gonna go bend it back, it clicks. There's this little rod on the end. Side note, get that uh, bicep in there, Mary. Maybe that's a thumbnail. I can click this, unclick it, that's how it goes back down. So I bend it back, boom, pop this right up, I'm back, good to go. And I can go up and down with this. This thing's unbelievable. Okay, so that's how I like to practice this. Now, if I were to take this off, what I see a lot in swings, right, is that the right wrist never gets bent back enough. Now, in my setup position, the right wrist is fairly flat, okay? If I were to do a neutral swing, my right wrist is fairly flat to set up. Players I see, they keep their right wrist too flat on the way back, which makes the left wrist too cupped and makes the face too open. So anytime the toe gets behind the heel, that right wrist is too flat, the face is too open. Now, watch when I bend my right wrist back. Now the toe's in front of the heel, okay? I see that same thing to the top of the swing. The right wrist is too bent back, or not bent back enough, okay? This is what it should look like. Anytime I flatten my right wrist, my left wrist gets cupped, and vice versa, okay? Same thing in transition. When I flatten my right wrist, the shaft gets shallow, the club head's inside my hands, and I'm able to keep the club head behind my hands in delivery, right? So it does all those pieces. I see, I just gave this lesson this morning, right wrist, when it's too flat, the palm is towards me, face is open. Right? If I do that when I come down, same thing, shaft steep, face open, boom. So I wanna feel like the palm bends back, and, or my wrist bends back, and my palm points a bit more towards the camera, bend the right wrist back, point it towards the camera. It's gonna shallow the shaft and square the club face. So this precision aid, absolutely in love with this. I did thorough testing 
like we might do some ads on here, but everything we do, I've tried before, and anything golf training aid, I try very thoroughly. That's why you only see like two or three golf you know, training aids that we'll ever do, because they need to work really good. A lot of players I work with use this, and they use you know left wrist things, and we like left wrist things, we love the hanger, but sometimes it doesn't connect with people. This right wrist training aid, I'm telling you, I've tried them all, is unbelievable. So I'm gonna put a link down below, you're gonna get 35 bucks off, it's like 100 bucks. But to me, that 100 bucks is worth you learning how to compress all the iron shots. What you need to be able to do are those half swings, keep it bent first things first, 20 to 30 reps multiple days per week, one or two rehearsals, hit a ball, check on video, you're gonna be able to compress them. Once you can do that, then send me a message. I'll show you, hey, how do I transfer that to full swing? How do I do this stuff with driver? But first things first, learn how to do these with the iron. So that's how the right wrist bend works. That's what it controls, loft, club face angle, shallowing your downswing, shaftly and impact, I mean, everything we want, and the ability to use your body correctly through impact. I'll put this down below, highly, highly suggest it. If you have any questions about this, um, just leave a comment down below. We're still running our 14 day free trial. If you wanna to head to kagornogolf.com, learn even more bonus secrets about how to compress them. We'll put that on the screen, we'd love to see you there.